service today. I was so bored at home. I've done the exercise, I've done with the homework and everything. So I've decided to try and make um, a recipe that my mom taught me while growing up. So this recipe is called um, the peanut brittle recipe. So right here now, I'm actually boiling um, the sugar and the water, which I, I should have shown you guys, but I just say, you know what, let me video this so I can share it with you guys so you can maybe, you know, develop a hobby or find something to do. So this is where the sugar is actually boiling with the water, okay? So I'm going to boil um, this down to a liquefied mixture to thicken the sugar. Here I have the peanuts, which is consist of the red red kidney peanuts. So that one has the, um, the shell in it. And I've decided to use some um, salted roasted peanut also. I'm trying to be diverse. Yep. Here I have a bit more because everything could hold there. I have a bowl of sugar right here that I intend to use and it's up to you you can use brown sugar and you can also use white sugar so it's an option yeah here I'm gonna also use some vanilla and baking powder and I'm gonna add a bit of ground sweet almond which I will do at the end and I will show you exactly how to do it so these are my main ingredients for now guys so I do hope that you will look, learn, and listen. Learn a new skill every day while you are self-isolating, okay? It's not hard, but you will just have to try. Get up and try something, okay? All right. Later on in the program, I will show you how to complete this homemade recipe. Recipe. You see what isolation is making me do? I was going to say recipe, but it's actually... <laughs> <laughs> recipe okay guys i catch you later bye i'm back with part two of my homemade peanut butter so as you can see the sugar has boiled right down into the water and it's quite crystallized getting crystallized right now you can tell by the bubbles and the thickness the consistency can you see that so i think it's just about time for me to start pouring in the peanut so here goes guy and be careful. Here goes. Yep. So you pour and stir, okay? Remember to pour and stir. And also be careful. So that's my second batch I'm gonna pour in right now. Whoopsie daisy. There goes my second batch. Yeah, and you continue to stir. Be careful guys because this can be pretty hot okay and i think right now i'm going to like turn the stove down a bit because i don't want it to start burning so i'm going to turn the stove down and then you can see where it's getting really 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 thick so right now i'm waiting for it to get a bit brown it's starting to get dark because i like dark yeah like dark dark and pretty so now if you see where the consistency or the sugar is still there a bit. You can pour water, which I'm going to do now. You see, I have the sugar sticking around the edge, so you can pour some water right there. Okay? Don't worry, and you continue to stir again. Okay, guys? You want to make sure you get the sugar off the sides, or else you'll be wasting your sugar. Yeah, and we need that to complete the bit. So you can continue to stir consistently. And I think I may have poured too much water. So I'm going to leave this now. Yeah. To thicken again. Okay. While I'm doing that, for me, I like um, my vanilla. So I'm going to use, it's optional though guys, okay, so it's to your liking. I'm going to use two teaspoonful of vanilla to my mixture while it's still on the stove. Now remember, it's optional, so you don't have to use it, okay? 
So you can use one if, it, if it's the first time and you want to just try how it tastes or two times. You can use it twice. So it depends on your taste, okay? Me, I like it, so I'm going to do three. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to continue to stir. Because I need to get it back, yeah. See, so it's starting to cook again, thicken again. So I'll continue to stir and scrape the sugar bits off the side, okay? You don't want to waste it, now do you? This is not a time for wasting anything, guys. Isolation time. You need to save and make the most of what you have, yeah? So I'm just waiting. I need to start ticking again, okay? And we're getting there. You can see again, right? It's coming up again. Getting thick again. Yeah. And if you do have a big family and you want to extend... On the peanut brittle, you can at this time, this is the best time to pour more in it, okay? Mm. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it a bit right now to get thicker and then I'll return to you, okay? I'm back with the finishing touch of my isolation style peanut brittle. So for the ending, I'm going to put a bit of um, baking powder for me it helps to let the sugar soften a bit so it's not that crunchy crunchy when you're biting it okay because i'm gonna have my nan eating some and i'm gonna have the little ones eating some okay so i put the oopsie i put the um baking powder to help soften the sugar a bit you can see here now where my peanut brickle is making you see it's so thick so it's starting to form that's exactly how i like it so you can put it into portions or you can spread it out on the sheet for me i'm going to spread it out on the sheet it's much easier so when it forms then i can cut it into small bits and i think really and truly to share even better remember you have to share save and don't waste at this time so this is my peanut brittle it's quite easy it's my first time doing it to be honest yeah so i guess i could say it's an my mom because she has always made this when i was little and because i'm at home now not really bored bored but an isolation so it's quite ready now to be spooned onto my grease proof paper here you can either use it without the grease paper so it's your choice you have an option because you may or may not have any grease proof paper so for me i'm using the grease proof paper because i believe it's a bit easier to take the um the brittle off when it's cool yeah but and it doesn't stick but over here i'm also going to use just to show you the difference when i take it out there's none there's no paper there and there's paper here so you will see the difference between the two so while watching the video if you see any mistake at all don't be afraid or scared to share your comments and you know correct me or give me your ideas because as i say this is my very first time and it was something that my mom used to make when we were little growing up so for me it's kind of like Theory right now because while I'm doing it I'm thinking of her so guys you see now we have a brilliant consistency yeah and the peanut the color of it is exactly how I like it dark brown yeah or really dark I like dark <laughs> yeah so now guys I think it's just about time for me to spoon it but guys please 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 be careful right I'm going to pour it now onto the grief boost paper. At this time, I'm going to use my mitten. And because I need a spoon, yeah, I'm going to do this now, guys. So here goes. One, two, three stir, and then I'm going to pour. Guys, please, please, at this point, be really careful, okay? So now I'm going to quickly pour yeah and spread 
make sure you spread as quickly yeah thin it out thin it right out because you don't want it to hard you want to spread it out evenly okay there goes so when you're when you're ready it will be nice and thin to cut into small portion to feed the family okay okay so guys that's the one with the grease proof paper and i'm going to do another one now without and then we're going to see the difference okay all right so we're spooning that one onto the the tin without the paper okay and i'm going to spool that out again in circle punch it out punch it out shape it out guys quickly yeah and try to flatten it yeah so it forms very well and thin not quick and there you go we leave it to cool and guys please please remember to be careful yeah when you're doing it when you're going to pour it out try to use a mitten or a glove or even a tablecloth because it's going to be very hot you know hot sugar burns you really really bad and i don't want that to happen to you especially not at this time okay uh, good see my daughter just tried to taste it and see what happened <laughs> burnt her tongue <laughs> anyway guys so this is the finished product and it's going to be cooling now and after after it's cool i will um come back to you again and show you how to cut it in portion and i will also show you the difference between the one with with the group the paper and the one without I am back with the finished product and as you can see it's very dry so dry that I can just peel it off the paper you see that so that's the one that was um, put on the, the, the grease tool paper so that's how it will come out look yeah easy squeezy so now I'm going to show you the other one that I've made that I put without the grease paper. So let's see the proof in this one, how it came out. So I'm gonna try and lift it, guys. Bear with me because, yeah, oh, look, guys, not bad. Yeah, only, uh, as you can see, we have a few mishaps there. Yeah, we break, it broke a bit around the edges, but not to worry, you can still have that, okay? So that was the one without the grease proof paper and this is the one on the paper and that one slides up so easily beautiful oh i love that one better so you can also tell me guys you can like subscribe and also tell me which one you like better and which one you think was more presentable okay so that's the thing, finished product and what I'm going to do, I'm going to, it's optional also, you can cut it in small chunks, so, you know, everybody can have bits and bubbles. You see this one, it breaks so easily. So, I would say, let's break this one with our hand. Everybody can get small portion, and they don't have to fight over it. <laughs> so, you see, this one comes off so easily. We don't need a knife for this one. You just use your hand, but make sure you wash your hand. Yeah, like I did before yeah and that's how mama's homemade peanut brittle without the grease food paper would look like here yeah? so that's it guys that's the one without that's the one without so for the one that um, I've used the paper I'm not gonna cut that one now because if I cut it, it's going to be finished. So I'm going to leave this one for the kids and everybody to eat. And then leave this one for another day to cut. Okay? Because trust me, in this house, they love sweets so much. And if I cut both, they're going to finish it. Alright. So earlier on in the video, guys, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. Where um, I said um, I was using a bit of ground sweet almond i'm so sorry it is ground sweet cinnamon so i do apologize for the error but as i say it's my first time and honestly i'm very nervous and yeah i do stutter when i'm nervous so i do apologize for the mistake okay but here it is 
the correct product is ground sweet cinnamon and also remember it's optional you don't have to use it it's optional okay all right so this is what the finished product would look like that's the broken ones you can use a knife or you can use your hand but make sure it's clean and that's the one with the grease, the grease proof paper yeah beautiful isn't it have a look guys yeah mama would be proud of me <laughs> all right guys um to end this i would say because they are so sweet and there's so much sugar in it already i'm going to recommend that you have water with it and remember in this time you need to be hydrated so for me i'm gonna have a nice tall room temperature actually glass of water to drink with my brittle and i would also recommend that you put a bit of orange juice yes yeah, squeeze a bit of orange juice in your water because that is very good to hydrate your throat and it, this is also good to keep um, the bacteria away so anything is anything right now everything I hear I'm going to definitely try so I recommend you do the same but as you know citrus is always good for the throat okay and it's also it also keep the weight down if you're watching your weight you know like now if you can't exercise you drink your orange juice or your lime water or your orange water so guys enjoy and this is my water I'm going to pour right now and I'm going to share it with you virtually all right so yeah look at that guys beautiful yeah so i'm going to drink and i'm going to say cheers to you cheers guys thanks for watching and remember to like subscribe and share and please do make your comment because as i say it was my first time and i hope you will try the recipe okay remember it's just sugar water peanut it can be red peanut or plain peanut salted or unsalted you can use um vanilla you can also use cinnamon powder which is optional and a bit of baking powder okay guys but well, thank you very much love you loads stay safe bye